Barbecue sauce. What's up, my man? What do you guys want to talk about tonight? <clears throat> Barbecue sauce loves Trump. I do too. The reason I like Trump um, is because he is a pragmatist. He sees a problem and he wants to fix it as fast as possible. He doesn't worry about Democrat or Republican. That's the beauty of Trump. Barbecue sauce. Democrats don't hate Americans. They hate the American way of life. Like um, marrying a female, having a job, buying a house getting your kids an education, not relying on the government. That's what they hate. Because the Democrat voter base is all about freaks. Uh, they're not the traditional nuclear family. They're just become a conglomerate of freaks. America. No, Florida sucks for loads. <clears throat> a lot of times truckers, just to get out of Florida, will take a shitty load just to pay for their fuel to get up to fucking Jacksonville. Jacksonville is still Florida, but you know what I'm saying. Bully, what do you think of the paleo diet? I think it's pretty cool. Is that like the caveman diet where you just use the... Um, the outside of the grocery store. You don't use any of the aisles. You're just living on meats, fresh fruits and vegetables. Yeah, that's the way to go. I mean, look at the Samoans, those big cocksuckers. Um, all they eat is fish and fresh fruit and vegetables. And some of those guys have never touched a weight in their life and they're 300 pounds and sloppy. And they can go to the fucking NFL and fucking be the sack leader for a year. Paleo diet's a shit. I kind of think, now I don't practice this, so, um, but I have this theory that if it doesn't run, swim, fly, grow from the ground, or fall from trees, don't eat it. Um, there's no spaghetti tree, there's no bread flour. You should eat animals, birds, fish, and natural fruits and vegetables. Um, like, look at the aisle of death, is what I call it in the grocery store, where your, your cookies, your crackers, um, your breads, your cereals, all that horse shit that people didn't buy in the grocery store before World War II because they made it themselves. Well, um, that's what's killing America. God, my eyes are just fucked from this truck. Um, yeah, don't go down the aisle of death. Don't eat any bread, pasta, cereal, cookies, crackers, all that shit. The refined carbohydrates are what make you fucking become pre-diabetic and that's what brings on heart disease. <sighs> yeah, I like the caveman diet. Roots, berries. I think the only uh, fruits they eat are tart fruits, not sweet fruits. Um, and I, I think that it I think that's, uh, I don't know much about the difference what's tart and what's sweet. But I think tart fruits are like apples and cherries and shit that grow in cold weather. Because remember, cavemen walked out of Africa 70 fucking thousand years ago on the Caucasoid or Caucasus Mountains. 
That's why we're called Caucasians. And they went to France. Now, if you look at France, you know, like the Burgundy region of France is at the 45th parallel. Four equal seasons. So real sweet fruits, like what grow in Florida, don't grow in France. So our bodies basically evolved only eating tart fruits, like grapes and cherries and apples. All this sweet shit, our bodies are it just don't like it. We turn pre-diabetic. Oh my God, someone just said not everyone originated from Africa. Okay, let me ask you a question. The Neanderthal was alive and well in Europe while whites and blacks were living together in Africa. If you do a DNA test of someone who's 100% African, they have no Neanderthal DNA in their body because they never left Africa. White people who left Africa 70,000 years ago and went to France, they encountered Neanderthal, and um, they did interbreed a little bit. That's why almost all white people have a little Neanderthal blood. Blacks do not. That's just fucking anthropology 101. Lactose, Adam McLeod, what is your thought on lactose intolerant people? Um, for one thing, I feel very bad for them um, because dairy products are, are, are like comfort foods to me. Like, um, I couldn't imagine life without milk, cheese, yogurt, cottage cheese, ice cream, all the wonderful dairy products that I love. Um, being lactose intolerant seems fucking shitty to me. So my first thought is I feel very sympathetic towards them because they're missing out on a lot of pleasure in life. Um, and also, um, look, dairy protein is very good for putting on fucking mass. You know, I'm a firm proponent of chocolate milk post-workout. Um, I'm a firm proponent of cottage cheese at bedtime uh, because cottage cheese is such a slow digesting protein. Um, when you eat cottage cheese at bedtime, when the cottage cheese hits your stomach acid, it basically turns into a fucking softball and slowly digests all night, giving you a constant release of amino acids into your bloodstream. So, and whey protein, whey comes from dairy. Whey is a very fast digesting protein. You know, whey should be taken in the morning on an empty stomach or post-workout. Um, so, yeah, I, people that can build muscle being lactose intolerant, they, they're working harder than you are. That's my thought. Because they're at a disadvantage. Because nothing puts on bulk and mass quicker um, than red meat and dairy. Period. gorilla. We were supposed to be eating dairy. Most blacks are lactose intolerant. That's funny. I don't know if that's true. Thoughts on drinking semen to increase testosterone. Um, I've been trying to get Jason Genova to do that for months now. Um, I think that's what Genova is lacking in putting on good muscle. Um, Jason should be eating his semen every time he masturbates. You guys can pass that on to him and tell him the bedroom bully approves of that method. Almond, Adam McLeod, so what's your thoughts on almond milk? Um, there's no protein in almond milk. It, it, it's basically, uh, 